Hi guys, my name is Juan and today we're going to talk about Canada's healthcare. As always, if you have any questions, do ask them in the comment section below. Please remember, I'm not a professional, but if you message me, I can connect you with a certified immigration consultant, one that could offer you a 30 minute free consultation. And with that, let's get to the video. So healthcare in Canada. I'm making this video to give you guys some broad information on Canada's healthcare so you can make more informed decisions on whether to move to Canada or not. Healthcare in Canada is publicly funded by taxes. This means eligible users typically do not have to pay for most healthcare and hospital services in Canada. This applies to Canadian citizens, permanent residents, some foreign workers on work permits, and some international students. These may all apply for public health insurance from their province or territory. In some provinces, new permanent residents will have access to provincial health care as soon as they arrive. However, some have a wait period of up to 90 days. In such a case, private health insurance can cover you for this period. So in general, it's important to know how to register for your province's health care months in advance. Coverage in your province of residence will also give you access to basic health services across any province in Canada. So what does it cover? It covers all medically necessary services provided by hospitals, physicians, and sometimes dentists. Aside from this, coverage starts to vary between provinces. For example, Ontario and Alberta will cover the cost of insulin pumps for all ages with type 1 diabetes. Other provinces may not. So what does it not cover? It doesn't cover things like prescription medications unless they're taken during hospital care, certain dental care, physiotherapy, ambulance services, and prescription eyeglasses. However, if you work in Canada, many companies will offer additional health coverage that public insurance does not cover. So for example, dental and eye care are really common ones to receive from work. So there is a downside to Canadian healthcare and that is big wait times. By wait times, I mean the time from getting a referral from your family doctor to your actual appointment with a specialist. Wait times are clinically based, meaning life-threatening treatments will be given priority. For non-life-threatening services, the wait time can be long. It should be noted that no amount of money can buy shorter wait times in Canada. My personal experience so far with Canadian healthcare has been a highly positive one. As a Canadian, so far I've received all healthcare for free. I have visited my family doctor or any doctor on staff at one of the many drop-in centers for reasons such as bad stomach aches, stitches, x-rays, ultrasounds, and all of that happened freely and care was given the same day. Although Canadian healthcare is expensive on a global scale, I personally really enjoy the peace of mind that I get from knowing that at any moment I can just go to the doctor for anything and I will receive high quality care and be taken care of. And that's it guys, I hope this information helps. Please feel free to ask questions down below for any questions I don't have the answer to. If you message me, I can connect you to a certified immigration consultant, one that could offer you a free 30 minute consultation. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates. And with that, I hope you guys have a great day and a great life. Take care.